Hello, welcome back to today's video. So happy to have you here. I am Ellie Brown from Uptown with Ellie Brown and I'm excited to do today's video. It's going to be a first impressions slash review of the Huda Beauty all new blush filter. It comes in five different colors. It is a new launch and they sent this to me to test out. And I'm just super excited to, to dive in in today's video with the first impressions. It's real good. I'm just gonna give you that. It's real good, real, real good. But let's just keep watching, grab a cup of coffee, and let's play with some makeup, shall we? Okay, this is the blush filter liquid blush, and I got one, two, three, four, five, five shades. Ooh, five shades in here to try out. What I thought was very interesting that they decided to add goggles last minute in here. These blushes are so blendable and so good that you can basically blend these with your eyes closed. So these are actually really, really cute. These remind me of my sun tanning days. So she made the blush filter so we can have fun with beauty again with a pop of color to the cheeks and the ultimate air blushed finish. Lightweight formula has a buildable blendable pigment and finely milled micro pearls so that the liquid blush literally looks like a filter as it melts into the skin for a super pigmented soft glow. And, and yeah, basically, you know, you prep your skin, do what you need to do, put the dots, blend and then blush. And we're just gonna, we're gonna test this out. Also sent these super cute little hair clips. So let's try the hair clips. Oh, I am having a whole 90s moment here <laughs> with these little clips. They also sent this super cute mirror, I believe. It feels like a mirror. Oh, this is so stinking cute. I love the color. Let's get to it. I'm going to go apply the base of my, my makeup up until the point that I get to where I apply my liquid blush. So let me go, let me go do this and then we'll come back. Moment of truth, I have my foundation on. I used the Maybelline 30 Hour Stay Foundation. This is in shade 129. This is the Super Stay Active Wear. I added a little bit of bronzer and we're gonna go in now with the blush. I do wanna show you the colors, what they look like. Actually, let's swatch them out real quick and figure out which ones to use. These are the colors, Black Cherry, Strawberry Cream, Cotton Candy, Watermelon Pop, and then Peach Sorbet. Those are the colors. Typically, the colors that I gravitate towards is more like the strawberry cream and the cotton candy. I kind of want to play around though. Should we do the peach sorbet? Should we do, let's, you know what? We're gonna try the cotton candy and the strawberry cream, but what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna apply the strawberry cream first and then we're gonna go in with the cotton candy as uh, once everything is, is done and applied to add a little bit pop because blush typically is the first one to go. So, moments of truth. Oh my gosh, this is, this is making me nervous. <laughs> See, I cannot see anything. Um, how's this gonna go? Strawberry cream. Ah, uh, is that enough? Did I just put too much? My brush. Okay. I'm gonna just tap and blend. How does this look? I literally cannot see anything. Okay, moment of truth. Ah! Okay. I mean, it's not as pigmented as I expected and I have no idea what this is here, but I mean, there's some color there. I was, I was honestly expecting a little bit more. Let's go in with a couple more dots. Maybe I didn't put enough. I clearly didn't put enough. I was being very conservative. Oh, well, there's the color now. Okay, so this is the blush. When you add more color, it definitely, there's pigmented. I think the first time I was probably being a little, a little bit too conservative with the color, but there's definitely some pigment there. It was easy to blend. I'm not sure I get the whole filter look. It doesn't feel creamy, um, cause it almost has like a, a water-ish consistency. I'm gonna go finish the rest of my face and then we'll come back. We'll add a tiny bit of this pink over once I've added all the powder products. 
Sometimes I like to add a little bit of a cream blush over my powder products, just because blush is typically the very first one to go. So when you add a little bit of that blush on top, not only does it kind of bring some of that youthful to the powder look where things can kind of just fall flat, it brings in some dimension. It just makes the look just that much better. If you haven't tried that, I would recommend trying that. But let me go finish the, the rest of my look and then we'll come back. So this is what the makeup, I look. For, I know I look ridiculous with this thing on, let's actually take this off. So this is what the makeup looks like, okay? And I gotta say, the makeup is, is makeuping. I also wanna test out this color on the lips just to see what it would look like. Let's try the strawberry cream to create a cohesive look. I just wanna see what it would look like. Oh! <gasps> That looks beautiful. I'm gonna let this just dry it down just a little bit before adding a gloss. But the lip color I used, or the lip liner I used, was shade, uh, what color? This is NYX in 125 Magnet Magnetic Mauve. And then again, I used the Strawberry Cream. So let's add a gloss, if I can find a gloss here. We'll go with the CoverGirl Clean Fresh Yummy Gloss. Let's just add a little bit of gloss on top. Like, but do you see the way it has that iridescent that looks so pretty? It's almost as if I don't really need a gloss, but we're gonna add just a little bit right here. Oh! Um, this may be my new like go-to lip color combo. I mean, I don't know if I even wanna top it off with the blush on, on you know, more blush on top. I feel like this itself looks so good. What do you think? But you know what, for the sake of the video, let's just go ahead and add. We're gonna add the cotton candy. We're gonna add a couple of dots just on top of the makeup. I've got a piece of hair stuck on top of the blush just because I wanna see what it looks like. I hope I don't mess this, my makeup up. We're just gonna take my beauty blender and we're just gonna Add, oh, oh, but wait. Okay, wait, 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 wait. I, I, I love where this where this went. Well, there you have it, friend. Thank you so much for watching today's video. I hope you enjoyed this first impression slash review as we dived in and tested out and played with the Huda Beauty. I keep say I keep wanting to say filter blush, but it's blush filter. Would love to hear what your what your thoughts are. Have you tried this? What do you think? Do you like how, how it looks? And if you end up picking up, make sure to let me know. I would love to hear what you think. And yeah, thank you so much for watching today's video. I hope to hear, hear, no, I hope to see you here again real soon. Oh, and don't forget to like, subscribe, and then hit that little bell so you can get notified when the next video goes live. See you here again soon. Bye.